I'm looking spooky as fuck right now, fam, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna make a little video. It's a little thing here. People are really, really irritating me today. Really irritating me. I'm working on the Black Pill 2 video right now. Um, I basically, <laughs> I filmed a version of it earlier. And I wanted to do it outside my car. I was like, you know, this car shit, it's getting a little bit played out. Everybody's doing it. It's getting a little bit played out. So I went and I filmed it outside. <laughs> and, um... There's, a, there's just a bunch of like, crickets, because I filmed it early in the morning, but it was, there was just like, crickets everywhere, and, like all this background noise and shit, and it was just like, I mean, it sounded like shit. <laughs> I kept on pausing a lot, there was a lot of, um, uh, and, um, you know, just a lot of, it, it just didn't sound good. So, uh, what I did... I went to write a synopsis for it. I wasn't going to script the whole thing. I wasn't going to write out a whole script for the whole thing. But a little synopsis to kind of get my thoughts a little more collected. What I wanted to talk about. And it was so depressing. Because <laughs> I was studying these articles that just came out not too long ago. It was like uh, Tinder in the Dating Apocalypse. Some other one that just came out was like Tinder in the Marriage Apocalypse. And it was so fucking depressing <laughs> to read these articles, man. I tell you, I just, oh my god. Just want, I mean, just trying to want to put it into words. I mean, it was like, it was just like, oh my god, it was horrible. <laughs> it was so horrible, I just stopped. I got off, I shut down, closed down WordPad. I saved it, and I just closed it down, and I just laid down in bed, and I was just like, oh my god. This is so fucked up. Okay, no, I can't see my ashtray. Spooky stuff was good for now, but I can't see my ashtray, so. Anyway. I just wanted to make a couple notes for some miskers and some other people who have been sending me some messages and stuff. Um, give you a couple stats on me personally, okay? I've, uh, by my best estimates, um, I've done a lot of... <laughs> I've never been much for the PUA. I've always thought it was a lot of bullshit. You know, I mean, kind of at first, I mean, you know, you take some of the, there's a few parts of it, you know, not be a fucking doormat, not be, you know, whatever, not, you know, not be a, a cuck, <laughs> basically not be, you know, whatever. There was some stuff about it that was kind of, you know, I kind of listened to, but for the most part, I mean, so much of it is scripted. I mean, you know, they do a, they'll shoot a thousand scenes and edit down to two successes. They pay people. I mean, go look. There's a, <laughs> there's a great video. It's called, you should go look it up. It's like a hugging girls prank or some shit. I don't remember what exactly you look for to find the video. But, I mean, it's so fake. <laughs> it's so fake. How can you believe this shit? Some guy, fucking like male model. He's like, oh, hey, if you get the question wrong, uh... You gotta give me a hug. And there's, like, these fucking girls. He's like, yeah, it's obviously all scripted. And they're fucking paid off. I mean, they can't fucking believe this shit. <laughs> Dude, really? I mean, come on, man. And he's like, oh, if you... Ooh, give, give me... Oh, you gotta give me... And he's, like, fucking making out with these hot chicks. It's like, come on, dude. These are fucking actors. This shit's all paid off, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. But I, anyways, I digress. My own stats, you know, I did a lot of a, what they call a cold approach. I did a lot of those in my time. <laughs> where you go up and, uh, you know, like, I'll go up to the mall, I'll go wherever, you know, and just be like, you know, try and make small talk with chicks. And uh, <laughs> at best, they would walk away. <laughs> uh, you know, but I got a lot of very, very stern rejections, a lot of very stern um uh, you know, and I've done the, I've done the online dating, <laughs> OK Cupid's and the Tinders. You know what? I'm I went um. I counted up, 
I went through about 2,300 swipes. And I actually, I mean, I got matches. I got non-bot matches. I did. I mean, I did. And, um, and, uh, <laughs> man, very, I, I think I got probably, uh, let's say I did 5,000 swipes. I probably got like three non-bot matches. And there was actually one girl who I did talk to. She was a homeless single mother. Okay. <laughs> a homeless single mother. She was the only one who didn't respond that she accidentally swiped me. I got two responses that they like didn't mean to swipe me. Uh, actually, and there was some girl who was like trying to. She wasn't a bot, but she was like trying to sell me some shit. It was like some fucking scam shit. Um, but this girl who actually talked. We talked for like a couple weeks. She was a homeless single mother, and uh, she was like, you know, I just don't think that you're good enough for me to date. Like, we can talk, but you're not good enough for me to date. And I was like, God damn, bro. God damn. But I mean, okay, I'll give you a couple, couple, uh, and I, not say, I mean, she wasn't unattractive. She, like, had it, half her head was shaved, the other half was dyed, like, purple. So, I mean, she was, you know, she was fucking crazy or whatever. But, uh, I've been rejected by girls that were very morbidly obese. A lot of them. I mean, you know, I was trying to, there was once upon a time I was, where I didn't, you know, it was before I kind of got more educated. I was trying to gauge my own attractiveness level. So I went and I flirted with a lot of morbidly obese women, single mothers, you know, women who are, you would think, you know, would maybe be a little more open to dating or a little more, but they're not. They're not. They, these women, there's no woman in a developed country that settles anymore. I mean, they can get a lot more attractive men than you would think, maybe, if you're not educated. And um, this is some of this is going to be in the Black Pill 2 video. Um, if you made a Tinder, or not, not even Tinder, well, maybe a Tinder. If Tinder, okay, Cupid, go make a fake one with a girl. Try to find an unattractive girl. <clears throat> Try to find yourself a morbidly obese girl, whatever, and go make an account or make a Craigslist ad, whatever. And you'll you'll get bombarded with men. You can say, oh, yeah, I got, you can just make up some shit that, I mean, not that's so f completely unbelievable. I mean, maybe, I mean, I've, I've tried to keep a semblance of reality when I've done that. But, I mean, you'll get bombarded with men with great jobs, attractive, tall men. You know, it really puts some shit into perspective. Um, and you'll see, I'll, I'll touch, this, touch on this in the Black Pill 2 video. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Guys are like, they're just telling me the mystery stuff. They're like, well, you just got to find a girl. You can't go over the, after the 10, 10 chicks, bro. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You'd probably have just as good of, of a fucking chance or me. Maybe anyway, I mean, you know, people are like, oh, well, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're bitter. And you don't know anything. Um, you got to just understand that it's just, I mean, I'm sure I, I have probably even exceptionally worse luck with it, but, um, I mean, there, there's not really settling going on with women right now, you know what I mean? Because they can, like I, like I said before, they can get all kinds of good, super hot guys, so like I said, I mean, people just, it's irritating me when people go, oh, blah, 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 whatever, you gotta find, uh, you gotta just go for your league. If you're not, if you're a sub-5 male, there really isn't a league anymore. Because 6 out of 10 male, it's what you got to be pretty much to really get anything substantial. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Some guys, you know, like I said, you will see ugly guys. Oh, I see ugly guys, chicks all the time, blah, blah, I don't know. I don't really believe it, <laughs> honestly. Um, fuck. That one just irritates me. Especially when I have to, the girl, the chick, because there's some chicks, a couple chicks. There's been a couple, I was just in a thread right now that was just pissing me off. There's a couple chicks who, you know, who have publicly humiliated me, publicly embarrassed me. And uh, they go on and lie and say that I did all these horrible things to them, blah, blah, whatever. Um, and this, that's another thing, too, is that um, because of my, how I look, they don't... Uh... Dude, this fucking guy was just creeping up by my car, dude. What the fuck? Man, get the fuck out of here. This guy just fucking rode his bike right, in, right around my car looking at me and shit, dude. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, I 
That's something I'll touch on too in the Black Pill 2 video about how uh, women, uh, with your, when you're a sub-5 inferior male, women, uh, won't, they don't mind uh, just basically shitting all over you and fucking treating you like shit because people are always going to side with them over you and because <laughs> you're a bitter loser and you're bitter and you're fucking... Uh, you're just bitter and you're because you're a fucking loser. Ah. <laughs> Dude. Listen, man. You know how much shit I've done, how, how much shit I've been through. How many good, how, how good of a person I've tried to be when I just get shit on <laughs> all these times. This doesn't mean shit, dude. This doesn't mean shit. It's never gonna mean shit if you're not superior. GSM, Chad, whatever the fuck you want to call it, man. But, uh, yeah, Black Pill 2 video, it's gonna be coming. I just gotta kinda <laughs> suck it up and, re and record it, and I wanna make it a little more polished and shit. And not like this, this is another rambling video that's taking way too fucking long. So, very well, I'm just gonna cut it off right now, cut the video off, but, uh, yeah, Black Pill 2 is coming, and, um, got a little cleared out now, a little more mellowed out now from... Little smoke, little video, you know, helps me, <laughs> helps me keep on going. So, yep, Black Pill Two's coming. Stay tuned. Have a great night. Have a good day. Whatever, wherever you live at. Have a good one, dudes and all, dudes and whoever else. Check you out. See you later.